these are cunts. A cunty cunt. What you gonna do about it, you big old cunt? You gonna cut all over me with your cunty face and your cunty boots and your vagina? Hello, fellow coffee drunks. It's your drinking buddy, Kurai, and today, oh boy, oh sweet mother of Lucifer, we are going to be talking about creep show art, and goddamn Jesus Christ, <laughs> damn girl. I feel like I don't even need to explain the situation, but yet again, I kind of have to because again, you guys are kind of new to the situation, so I'm gonna speed run the summarization of the situation. Holy man. Basically, to sum everything up, Creepshow Art was exposed by Local Devs. Yes, Local Devs, that website where you talk shit about content creators for being homophobic, transphobic, ableist, kind of deck in general, and not seeing her own sibling. Yes, that did actually happen. So. <laughs> Creepshow Art decided to pull a big brain in when she realized she was losing subs and to say her IP got spoofed and do I even have to explain how stupid of an excuse that is? That is literally the same excuse as oh I'm sorry my 12 year old was like uh, using the computer I swear I didn't send those nudes on accident I swear those nudes are mine uh but yeah, so literally no one bought the bullshit, and so I shitload of exposed videos. Then Emily Artful came out with her own video exposing crypto art for emotional abuse on the span of 10 whole years. Jesus Christ, god damn girl. By the way, go subscribe to Emily Artful, she's literally the queen. And then, a literally hopeless peaches, the mad lad, go subscribe to her right now, by the way. She also exposed scripture art, then Harley TV exposed scripture art, then Char exposed scripture art, then literally everyone started exposing and sharing their own experience with scripture art. And, oh boy, did all that just Gray and her career. We're talking about like ultra instinct level and her own career level and her career and now her own sibling has come up with her own experience about creep show art and oh boy can we just say how much we stand creep show art sibling like girl you are a queen or king or whatever i don't really know the pronouns so i'm so sorry if i'm misgendering you but yeah, basically, we stay on Crypto Art Sibling, we don't stay on Crypto Art. I'm gonna inspect my knights here because somehow Crypto Art still has white knights, which is to be expected from a Twitter SJW, but you know, it's gonna be fun dealing with them. Kind of. So that's the situation as of right now. So you're probably wondering, damn, this video is kind of short. What are we going to do for the rest of the video? Simple. You know that one video everyone kept on reacting to by Crypto Art where basically she tried to expose a quote unquote transphobic and quote unquote racist artist? We're going to be reacting to that. And hey, I get to share my bias as a trans person. Woo! I can't really share my bias as a person of color because, well, I'm not a person of color, but you know, at least I can share my stance as like, you know, a trans person. So let's get into that meat and potatoes. God help my ears because I swear to God, I'm probably going to be, I'm probably going to lose a shitload of brain cells. So uh, if I'm not online for a few days, you guys probably know why. All right, I just, I gotta leave, okay? No, we just started, come on, man. We listen, just, listen, gotta... there's a lot to see in this life. Not wasting it here. A couple months back, I made a video about how I got accused of being racist all over drawing a black woman who looked like this. I drew this, posted it on my ye old Instagram page, which you guys should all follow me at, linked below, and immediately got a DM that pretty much said, hey, hi, hello, Shannon, you're a racist piece of shit and should die. Which, I don't know, is blatantly false, but uh, alright. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm allergic to bullshit. Oh my god, get to the point. I swear to god, I already want to strangle fish because I watched Luca. What else do I need to strangle? Jesus Christ, woman. 
But yeah, I'm skipping to the part where she shows the quote unquote transphobic art. Decided to draw this and this and let's not forget about this. Oh, or, or these. Let's not forget about these either. There is just so much McFrickin' wrong with these. I was not ready for today. Okay, okay. I'm gonna stop your bullshit right there, Shannon. As a trans person, that isn't transphobic. That isn't transphobic art. Ow. And I gotta say, I kinda wanna smile myself in the boobas. If you guys catch my drift. <laughs> but yeah, the art is offensive. I mean, I don't get what's wrong with drawing an SFW of trans people. Do I even have to explain why it's not even offensive? <sighs> oh god, Jesus Christ. But yeah, as a trans person, this art isn't transphobic or offensive at all. Clearly, she's just pulling shit out of her ass. And focus instead on the drawing of what is supposed to be Anthony Mackie, who real life, in real life, is just so flippin' hot, he could destroy me. He could punch me in the face and I would say, you know what, cool, that's fine. He's that caliber. She took a man who looks like this in real life and turned him into this, a cross-eyed black man that looks like it was drawn by Dr. Seuss back when Dr. Seuss made racist Nazi cartoons cartoons, which was a thing. Look it up if you don't believe me. There is nothing about this drawing, about this rendering of this man that even looks kind of correct. And there is nothing about this that makes me say, wow, she must love this character so much to draw him like this. Wow, you are just the grand central station of disappointment, aren't you? Shannon, that's called an unsaturated art style. Do I even have to tell you why that's not even a racist drawing? Jesus Christ, people have art styles, Shannon. Jesus fucking Christ almighty. That's not even a racist drawing, the fuck are you saying, girl? If you stated that you literally cannot tell if this image was made with racist motivations towards Leslie Jones, then you are absolutely right. What am I watching? I don't know, but I hate it. Shannon, are you saying that black woman wearing lipstick or having plump lips is a sign of being racist or just being derogatory or being bigoted? Shannon, you're a white woman. You don't really have a say in the matter. In fact, that actually sounds pretty racist of you. But hey, it takes a racist to know racist. That was based in their transness. All the drawings of black and Latinx. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm usually far more composed. I'm just a little bit absolutely livid. This bitch really just a Latinx, and she's complaining about a racist artist. Talk about hypocrisy, people. On fucking God, Jesus Christ Almighty. Oh, sweet Lord. How's your spine? I'm giving you a five-minute head start. Thank you! I'm going to need it! Bomb line, Shannon is a two-faced bigot. That is the conclusion of today's video. And before everyone comments, starts, you know, commenting, you sound way more angry than usual in this video, that's because if you guys haven't watched my 100 sub special videos for when I used to be a 100 subs, literally she was one of my inspirations and I know she's kind of not that good of inspiration but still, you know, it just kind of hurts. But that's where I'm going in today's video. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. It's scientifically proven that only 92% of you are not subscribed and still watch my videos which is kind of pointless, like, why don't you subscribe to me so you'll get notified by clicking the little bell down there whenever I go live or upload something so you can watch my videos, like, almost all the time. Like, it's so simple. And it's for free. Also, don't forget to comment down below. There's a 100% chance that I will heart it and also reply to it because, hey, why not? And also, don't forget to follow my other social media sites, which are linked below. Join my Discord server. We're a pretty chill community. Um, follow my Twitter page. I post, you know, tweets on there often. And also, don't forget to share this video with your friends or family or co-workers or even that one dude you cannot that's trapped in your basement now. And yeah, I'll see you drinks in the next video. Bye bye Okay, it's childish. Can't be no homegirl dropping like the Nasdaq. Move white girls like this coat.